Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called The Cost of Bliss, and if you want to pay for Bliss, the links and the details as always are down below in the description for you, alright? It's going to be a first person horror experience where I'm going to be playing as an addict forced to stay in a psych ward to fight my addiction. But it's alright because I've made a friend, a friend who wants to help and ease my pain. And he will, if I perform unsettling favours for him. Seems interesting. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Either way though, alright? This is The Cost of Bliss. Alright, warning! This game contains graphic content and tackles subjects like self-harm and drug use. This might be sensitive to some users. If you're still here, which I hope you are, you'll find a challenging game that will test you under stress and fear. Alright, I've got my headphones. I'll try. Here we go then. I can't bear it. I can't bear it any longer. I hate you. I hate myself. I must say my goodbyes. Just one more visit, and that'll be the last. But I am weakness. I am shame. Pitifulness. A waste of life. I deserve this. Wow. My self-esteem isn't great, is it? Okay. What do we got here, then? Matches. Okay. Four plus four. Oh, just four. All right, so... There we go. I quite like the general aesthetic of the game, yeah. Uh, right mouse button to extinguish the match? Well, we, we, that would be a bit of a waste, wouldn't it? Nothing on TV by the looks of it. So this is my room, is it? Oh, I love the clock. They just leave the door unlocked? Okay, fair enough. Right. So, we can sprint. We well, <laughs> we can lose a match as well. Control to crouch. Yeah, okay. Let's see, around here. Uh, look at that. I think the match is being extinguished a little bit faster if I run. The animation seems to play a little bit faster, you see? Oh, okay. Right. I really do need the matches here. It is very, very dark. Ah, uh, right. There's a door here. Okay, here we go. Let's see. More matches, maybe? Nice, okay. What have we got around here, then? Are we going to be doing any sweeping up? Got some bins. Bolt cutters? Look at all these keys. Can I take any of them? That one looks more real than the rest. But no, I still can't take it. Right, okay. Let's see. Uh, so it came out of that door. Let's just sort of hug the left wall here, shall we? Ooh. Is that a puddle? Right, okay. Uh, I think this is going to be a stealth horror game, so it's probably best I stay away from that. The door seems to be locked. Dr. D. Santos, apparently. Okay, a doctor's office. Let's see, what have we got here? Alright. More matches? Okay, I'm going to be going through them very, very quickly. Oh, hello. Are you my friend? Letting someone down is the, can be, one of the most excruciating pain. We all commit mistakes. Okay. There's hope for everyone. Right, okay. Thanks for those words of wisdom. I think he's wearing a mask. Lovely. Yeah, that should probably be dealt with, honestly. Okay. Is that another bedpan or chamber pot under there? Right. I see some more matches. Okay, got six now. Can we open these? No? Hmm, alright. Okay, uh, I guess I'll leave this behind. So, another puddle? Hmm, okay. Okay, this door seems to be locked. What about this one? Locked? Alright. I feel I should save some matches, honestly. Right, there's some light this way. So, let's have a look around here, shall we? Okay. Oh. Hang on. Who's this? Uh, okay. Dr. Santos, is it? 
I knew we would see each other again. Did you? It's him again. I have a vague memory of this happening before. I feel like I owe him something, but I don't really know what it is. I can help you with your tribulations. I can make you feel at ease again. So this guy's my friend? Why is he covered in blood? I can make you forget your troubles. You only have to do me a simple favor. You see, to ease your pain, I'll need something your therapist keeps very tight. In his office, there's a safe. Bring its contents to me. Where's his office? It's one of the locked rooms. You can find a master key in the janitor's room. And I think I know exactly what you're talking about. One more thing. You don't want to ruin our little relationship, do you? No. Then don't get caught. It patrols hallways at night, looking for wimps like you. It? Don't bother fighting it. Run. Hide. Crawl under anything and be very, very silent when threading the halls. You'll have to keep your fear under control. Studying your environment and moving slowly will be your best tactic. If he sees you, do not panic. Find the nearest room, shut the door, and hide. Use your matches to see further. Pay attention to his footsteps. I... Thank you. I, I... Bye. Right. I I don't really know what's going on here, but he definitely shouldn't be doing this. Is that the it that I should stay away from? Where's that coming from? Oh boy. Right. Okay. Let's uh let's go in here. Maybe. Yep. That works. More matches. Thank you very much. I got seven now. Right. So got some pills here. Don't want to take them. I think I know where the key is. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how to get to it, but uh, yeah, I think I know where it is, where the janitor's room is. Alright. I think there's, yeah, there's more matches over here. Any more doors? Is there another way out of this room? I don't think there is. Right, uh, I'm gonna have to go towards the noise, oh boy. Okay. Right. We're gonna go this way. Uh, we're gonna go this way into the unknown, actually, so I don't know why I'm doing this. Right. The door seems to be locked. Okay. Got a couple more here. This one works. Right. Sounds like it's getting closer. Right. So let's see. What do we got? More cabinets that I can't open. More chamber pots. Just bowls of piss everywhere. Why are they not cleaned up? It's oh boy. Oh dear. I'm just gonna hide here and hope for the best. Ooh. What the Right, I'm underneath the table. What the hell is that? It's not a guard, a nurse, a doctor, a warden. It's not another patient. I looks like some sort of experiment. What sort of place is this? Right. Okay, over here. Door's locked. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, put that away. Put that away. Is that it? Is that it? Right. Close the door. I think this is the one, isn't it? One of these keys. It was that one! Okay, that's the key to the doctor's office. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Right, so... I think I just went out to the right and then followed the left wall, didn't I? Okay, avoid the puddle. Oh boy. It's hard to determine where it is. Here we go, here we go. Close the door, close the door. Right. Interesting. Uh, so there's a safe in here, is there? Or hidden behind a bookcase or under the table, is it? Back there. Ah, here it is, here it is. Ah, oh, but of course I need to find the combination. Um, right. Let's see. Ah, here we go. Is that it? That's got to be the combination, hasn't it? Yeah, that seemed to work. Okay. 
Some sort of confidential document. That should be it. Now I just need to bring this back. Right. Whoever I spoke to, I guess, isn't Dr. Santos, then. That sounds real close. Alright. Should I go this way? Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Cool. Okay. I don't think it heard me. We're okay. We're okay. Alright. Here we are. And there he is. Back again. Okay. Right, let's do a deal, shall we? You creepy looking fuck. Here's your reward, my dear friend. Enjoy. So, I, I don't know what I'm addicted to, but I, I assume he's just giving me whatever that is in exchange for this. I cannot sleep. This numbness is killing me. Perhaps one last time. I promise, this will be the last. I promise. I, uh, I don't believe you. Oh, we don't get to keep the mattress from last time? Right. Is it another night, then? Did someone just find me passed out? I, I don't know. Right, so... Well, I, I guess I'll go back to the window and try and see my friend again, right? I think the idea is that these favours that I'm doing him in exchange for the drugs are going to get progressively more unsettling, progressively more weird, and perhaps challenging as well. I don't hear it. Right, the light's still on over there. I can just about see it. Okay, more matches here. Okay, I guess things just, like, respawn. I can't take the key again. Ugh. Okay. Let's see. Did we try this before? Okay. Oh, we got some toilets, have we? we oh, bloody hell. What the hell happened here? This place could really use a clean. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Nothing there. Oh, okay. Here we go. Got some more matches down there. Lovely. Oh, that's a little bit better, but there's still a blood stain. What? Honestly, what, what is going on with this place? Okay, so... It's actually quite a small area by the looks of it. If you know where you're going, I, I I think you can cut through quite easily. There he is. Just standing out there in the forest, waiting for me to appear. Weird. I was hoping to see you here again. <laughs> I've got nothing to say. It's come to my attention that something very valuable to me lays in this premises. In fact, it's worth so much to me that I would trade anything for it. I was also told it belongs to one of your friends here. Bring it to me. Okay. One of my friends? Well, there's the guy in the ward. I, I guess that's probably it, right? Okay. Strangely, as soon as I'm done talking to him, it starts roaming around again. Do you think it is real? I don't. I think it's like... I think this is all going to be very symbolic and metaphorical. I think it is my addiction or something. Right. Real or not, I'd rather not get seen by it. I don't really know where I'm going. Actually, it might be that way. Can we go? Oh, bloody hell. Okay, I'm underneath the bench here. And I think it just passed me by. Right. It must be over here somewhere, right? Here we go. Yes, okay. I think I'm starting to learn my way around the place. Right, he's still here. Let's see. Well, I guess if you really need it, he says. I'll let you have it, friend. You can find a... You can find a scalpel in one of the operation rooms. I'm sorry, what is it, exactly? 
I know there's an it that wants to chase me and- Whoa! Shit! <laughs> oh, okay, I'm just gonna hide next to this piss. Bloody hell, oh, here it is again. I think it's got something round its neck, like a collar? Where's it gone? Uh, it's still in the room somewhere, I think there's only one way in and out. Oh boy, please do not look under here. Ooh. You definitely didn't skip leg day, did you? Goodness gracious me. Yeah, what is that? Oh, okay. Right. So, there's a, sorry, a, a scalpel or something? Hold on. If you really need it, I'll let you have it. In one of the operation rooms. I was in one of them, I think. Uh, where was that? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What caused that? What just happened? Whoa, bloody- right. Did I step in a puddle? Did I- was it because I ran? Maybe both? Right, okay. Maybe he's just- he, he's got sensitive hearing this time. Okay. Right, there is a puddle there. I think it was probably the puddle. Um, right. Okay, that's the office. That's actually still unlocked. There's a puddle there. Uh-oh. Oh boy. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna maybe hide back here if necessary. Oh, lovely. <laughs> okay. I gotta say, it is quite a tense experience. Yeah, definitely don't want to get seen. Definitely don't want to get caught. The instinct, of course, is to run. But I think running... That's gonna make sound. I'll run through a puddle, you know? I'll... Oh, shit. Oh, you can crawl silently over puddles. Good to know, good to know. Right. I think I actually want to go over there, don't I? Right. The door seems to be locked. I think there's one over here that isn't, or at least it wasn't. This one? Yes. Here we go, here we go. Alright. Lovely. I've got 22 matches. That's more than I'll ever need, surely. Is this it? Right, I've got the scalpel. I- Ah! Oh! Right. Hide again, hide again. Boy, that door is no more. So now I've got to go back to my friend with the scalpel and... I, honestly, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. If we're on, like, the left side, we need to go to the right side. We need to go to the opposite end of this place. Right, there's a puddle there. I don't like the idea of going through that puddle. Shit. Uh, around this corner? There's the puddle. I think it's this one. Yeah, okay. Yes, okay, there's no door to close, unfortunately. Right, um, we're gonna have to do it with the door open. Please, not without something to numb the pain. I beg you. You can surely find some pills nearby. I can proceed with the surgery. Or look for a sedative. I'm gonna look for a sedative, because I'm not a monster. This guy, however, is. Those pills. Right, where... Oh boy. This way. Ooh, right. Ooh. <laughs> right, there... Right, there's pills there. Maybe that's the sedative? Certain items do seem to stick out, and there you go, that's why. Perhaps I could take one of these myself. Probably not a good idea. No sign of our doctor friend? If he even exists? Nah, I'm not really sure. Right. So, got some pills. Presumably a sedative. I've got the scalpel. Uh, 
I'm not a doctor, but I think I'm about to perform some sort of surgery. <laughs> I really don't like leaving this room. Oh boy. Alright. This way. We're gonna go this way. We're basically following in its footsteps. I think... I think it's coming back. Can't go that way, can I? No. Okay, it's to the right now. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, headphones are definitely recommended for this. Don't want to go that way. Oh dear. Oh boy, I think that's where I want to go. Right, I'm hiding under here again. Hopefully you're going to pass me by. I can oh, I can see you, just about. Have you got... Has he got like two hands coming out of each arm or something? He's strange looking, to say the least. Right. Okay. I don't know what we're doing, but let's do it. Oh boy. Ah! What am I going for? Your liver or something? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, an organ. This is definitely what my friend wants. I mean, I, I, I think this is what he was talking about. Time to head back. You think? You think. Okay. He thinks this is what he was talking about. What if he just wanted some fucking bubble gum or something? Oh man, okay. He's going around to the left, I think, so he's probably going to go past that puddle. There we go. That's my destination. I only need to make it across this hallway. If I could close these doors, I would, believe me. Right, okay. Are you there? Okay, he's back. He's back. He psychically knows that I've performed the task. I really hope this is what you wanted. I appreciate the lack of remorse in your face. Bloody hell. I can tell we'll work together for a long time. See you tomorrow. And again, I take whatever the hell he gives me and just faint. This silence is deafening. I cannot do this. I made a promise. There's no point in even trying. The reality is that you don't really care about yourself. Oh, this is depressing, isn't it? Right, okay. Matches again. Five this time. Nice. All right, let's do the dance again. Let's see. I wonder what I'm going to have to do for him tonight. I mean, it's going to escalate each and every night, right? So <laughs> I've just performed surgery on a friend. I I don't know. Am I going to have to, like... Am I going to have to kill him? Or... Mm. Right. Well, I suppose, much like I've done previously, what I'm going to do is have a little whip round, see how many matches I can find, see what's changed. Because it seems like at the very beginning of the night, before you talk to him, it isn't around and it isn't chasing you. So there we go. Some more matches. Oh, I've taken the key this time, by the looks of it. Okay. Let's see, the, the doctor's office round here. Is it still unlocked? Yes, it is. Okay. Nothing on the desk. What about underneath it? Ah, nothing under there. Oh, and the safe's gone. The safe's just been removed, apparently. All right. Okay. What about our friend? Is he still breathing? He's still here. And he's still alive. I cannot believe it. For many days I've waited for this day. I can't wait for the surgery tomorrow. They'll fix me up for good. I can almost hear the laughter of my granddaughter when I get back home. Oh dear. Dear, oh dear. Honestly, I cannot believe you are still alive. <laughs> okay, more matches down here. Wonderful. What else have we got? None over there. No. Alright, I shouldn't need to worry about this puddle, should I? What about these two doors here? They always seem to be locked, don't they? Hmm. Oh, more matches on the bin. Okay. 
Let's see. More over there, I think. Yep, I can just spy them in the darkness. There we are. Over there as well. Is our friend not appearing? Hold on. I want my drugs. Oh, no, there he is. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's do this one more time. What do you need this time? Once there was a young man whose beauty stirred the hearts of many a beholder, both in admiration and envy alike. One day, while wandering through a forest, his path led him to a tranquil opening. There, by the lakeside, he espied a wondrous maiden. Captivated by the ethereal scene she painted upon her canvas, he drew closer to her. Her eyes, like pools of liquid amber, gazed upon him, and she whispered, Shall I craft a portrait of thy visage, young sir? His heart swollen with vanity, he readily agreed to her proposition. With every brush stroke, she captured his youth and vigor, and he wished upon a star that he might never age. Instead, let the portrait bear the burden of time's relentless march. At that very moment, the veil of illusion fell, revealing the maiden's true identity, a witch. Her lips parted in a knowing smile, and she granted his desire. <laughs> Is this going somewhere, I'm thinking? Anyway... <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, in one of the infirmary locked cabinets, there's something I desire. Okay. Bring it to me. I hid the key in the bathroom. And away he goes, and it comes out to play. Okay, alright. What is it this time? Okay, I've got far too many matches. The bathroom, I know where the bathroom is. And the infirmary, that's, that's going to be where, where my friend is, right? I know where these places are. Okay. Here we are. I guess the infirmary could be here, but I think that might be the operation room, right? That's where I got the scalpel. Here. Right, close the door. Close the door. More? <laughs> More fun than this game, right? Let's see. Nothing down there. Are we? Oh dear. Oh dear, right. I'm just gonna hide here and hope for the best. What happened? Did you just hear me walking around? He's got very, very sensitive hearing sometimes, it seems. Bloody hell. I can't really see anything in the mirror. He's not here. He's not here. Okay. Apparently, though, the key is... Not in the toilet? No. Okay. Oh, hang on. Maybe it is. Oh, wonderful. Anything in there? Yeah, there is. This is why I check. This is why I always check. Right. Bloody hell, the door's removed. I don't like this. I, I might just I might just hide around the corner again until I, I can't hear him. Okay. So now it's the infirmary. Right. This way? It's not far away at all. It's just it, it's just through here, I think. Oh boy. Oh, okay, go, go, go. We're running, we're running. Oh boy. Okay. Round here. Round here. Oh! I splashed in a puddle. I splashed in a puddle. That's not good. Right. Yet again, hiding near piss. Why does this always happen to me? Right. I think I lost him. I think... I think we're okay. There's a keyhole here. Is this the one? I don't see anything. Oh, yes I do. What's that? I've got some sort of device. I've got it. I, I should head back now. Right, okay. 
Okay, right, so not too far to go, really. Just around the corner. There you go, I can see the light. I can see my salvation. I can see my next drug. Alright. Well, that wasn't too bad. There he is. Yeah, that wasn't much of a challenge at all, to be honest. You don't look so good. I could say the same about you. Go get some rest. Yeah. High as a kite. Spiritually castrated. Bred for suffering. Bound to a world obsessed with escapism. That's me. <laughs> Isn't it great? Only two matches this time. Okay. Right. Let's see. I've never found anything in this corridor. So, yeah, I'm just going to see if I can navigate through this without the light. Should be okay. But again, I'll see what matches I can find, see what differences I can find. Maybe check on my friend, see how he's doing. Did he have the surgery? I mean, you know, the proper surgery? Right, in here. Okay, there we go. More matches. Looks like they're the only ones that you find around here. Uh, so we've got the doctor's office around here, of course. Yep. Nothing down there. The safe isn't back. No. Nothing. No. Okay. Fine. 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 Um, let's see then. In the infirmary. Okay. I see some matches. So of course I'm going to pick up some spares. There you go. Another two. None down there this time. Right. How you doing? He doesn't seem to be breathing anymore. Oh no. Oh. I feel sorry for him. I really do. He was so willing to give up his organ for me. I still don't really know why, but I don't know, maybe in delirium he thought I was a surgeon, but mm. Okay. Right. Alright, on the bin. Yep, there we go. Oh, another five! Brilliant! We got any more around here? Yeah, there we go. It seems you are given a fairly healthy supply most times. If you know where to look. Right. Okay, for the fourth time. What do you want me to do? And can't you do it yourself? I mean, y you look kind of like a doctor. Do you work here? I don't think you work here. I don't think you're real, are you? Care to continue my tale? What about the witch? <laughs> I guess. For years uncounted, the man reveled in his perpetual youth, indulging in every temptation and vice, any depravity he pleased. But one fateful day, as he looked upon the portrait, a shiver coursed through his very soul. The once glorious visage upon the canvas had transformed into a grotesque abomination, bearing all marks of his sins. Horrified by the putrid creature before him, he recognized the wickedness he had brought upon the world. It bore the weight of his transgressions and debaucheries, a hideous testament to his moral decay. He knew there could be but one salvation, a mercy he could grant only to himself. The man brought an end to his tormented existence by piercing a silver dagger through his heart. Give yourself to me. No! No, this is this has gone too far. I'm not going to give myself to you. <sighs> right. No real direction for this one. Just give yourself to me. <sighs> Fair enough. You know, even if I was to want to do that, like, how, how would I do that? Have I got to find a silver dagger? I don't see anything quite like that around here. There's blood on the floor. Where does it go? Hold on. I think it is on the way. Mm, okay. Alright. Oh. Oh, the bathrooms! It's all chained up! Huh? Oh, no! Wait, 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 wait. Something else that stuck out quite considerably. 
bolt cutters. That should do the trick. There you go. Right, hold on. Please do not open the door. Oh, you're coming around that way? Oh, okay. Alright. I wonder if he's going to hear this. He probably will. No? Okay. Right. Here we are yet again in the bathroom. More matches. Over 20 again. Fantastic. Okay, we've... Oh, we've got broken shards of a plate or something. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, God. Well, that was uncomfortable. Right. Now, I... Ah! I just... Ah! Oh, need to head back. To be honest, I think the dev maybe missed a trick here. I, I, I kind of wish now that the the game is usually, you know, widescreen and normal aspect ratio, but it's the aspect ratio that you see now when you take an eye out. That may have been better. Just a thought. But right, it it's the eye, is it? I just need to I just need to head back with the eye. All right. Please don't go back on yourself. Okay, good, good. Okay, we've made it back to this room yet again. Again, a fairly easy one. I think I'm... Oh! Oh dear. I think I'm getting the hang of this, but uh, I am not feeling good. Uh, oh, there's my friend. Can I get to him? Oh. And that... Mm, didn't quite make it to the window. But I feel so comfortable. The cold tile floor pushed against my back. The warm blood puddle forming around me. I can't help but smile. As a peaceful chill fills my body from head to toe. I'm so happy. I'm so numb. Finally, I have found bliss. And that, I think, is going to be that. Yep, there you go. That, it seems, was the cost of bliss. That was the price... I had to pay. Sound dizzing? Character dizzing! All the dizzings! Fantastic! The Cost of Bliss. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. It would mean the world to me. And thank you very much in advance. Alright? But yeah. What did you think? Overall, I thought this was okay. It was alright. It wasn't great, but it was pretty good. But yeah, for me, it did miss the mark a little bit. I was hoping that it was going to be a little bit longer. Maybe there was going to be another two or three sections to play through. I was hoping there was going to be a bit more depth to it as well, you know? And I suppose a bit more challenge to it as well. To begin with, there was a great deal of challenge when I didn't know how to navigate around the place, when I was walking through the darkness, not knowing where I was going to go next, stepping in puddles, uh, I didn't know which doors were going to be unlocked or locked. Then it was a challenge, but by the last couple of sections, I kind of mapped the place out, you know? It's quite a small area, there's only a few rooms for you to navigate between. It's a bit of a shame that, you know, the puddles didn't change locations. Maybe some doors are unlocked, some are locked, depending on which day you're playing. Uh, maybe there could have been two it's? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's too much. But just throw something else into the mix so I'm not so confidently walking around the place. Also, it, I think, had some fairly typical patrol patterns. And once you figure out that unless you make noise, he's not going to turn back on himself, you can quite reliably, silently trail him to get around the place. I quite like the story and the symbology of it all. Uh, I've got to try and figure out how much of that was real or if any of it was real, in a way. And of course I was hoping for a better resolution. Bit of a shame it ended that way, but that was the cost of bliss. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Who's this? Uh, okay. It's- Oh boy! This place could really use a clean. Oh my god. I'll let you have it, friend. You can find us You can find a scalpel in one of the operation rooms. I mean, I, I 
I think this is what he was talking about. Time to head back. You think? Her lips parted in a knowing smile, and she granted his desire. <laughs> is this going somewhere, I'm thinking? Anyway... <laughs> Anything in there? Yeah, there is. This is why I check. This is why I always check. You don't look so good. I could say the same about you. Oh! Oh! 